So I'm here in Adelaide. I thought I'd just do a quick uh, entry in the uh, Maserati guy. Ah, and here is my car, which I have rented for the weekend in Adelaide. Mercedes C300 convertible, which I've got for three days. So it should be a bit of fun to uh, drive this and do a bit of a, of a, of a review on it for the channel. Um, compare it to the uh, to the W204, which I've got in the C63 version, obviously. Uh, so uh, I'll let you know. Let's go and collect it. through one of the parts of the winemaking country in Australia, McLaren Vale. Lots of big brand names here, look, Tintara, Hardy's Tintara on the left there, Oscars on the right, cellar doors everywhere. It's a great little place to do a tour. You can always go to wine tastings at any one of these wineries. Um, cellar door they will uh, give you little tasting notes of their vintages and varieties. Prepare to turn left. Rows of vines in the distance there. And all the names of the vineyards that you can go to is Coriol listed which is good. into the car park.
recording this little bit of video because there's something about these active headlights which is really funky. Can you see how they split? They've just done it now. They've split to leave a dark area around the car in front. Isn't that amazing? Look at that. See, there's a very definite... You can see them adjusting to try and keep the, keep the light out of the, the car in front. There you go, there's the gap. It's freaking awesome. The other thing the lights do, which is really good, is automatic high beams. So I haven't actually done anything here. And it's showing me on the dashboard here that it's put automatic high beams on. Just over there. There's one, and it turned them off. So I was actually up in Coriol with the choir of St. James Church, King Street, Sydney, um, for the Coriol Music Festival. Um, so this is a festival that happens every year and it gets some amazing um, uh, performers. Uh, there were a couple of Russian pianists um, who performed um, a, t a piano duet version of um, Stravinsky's um, Rite of Spring, which was absolutely spectacular. Um, so the Choir of St. James has a has a commercial um, arrangement with Coriol. They are one of our sponsors. Um, they provide all the wines for our functions. And so it was great to go and be in this amazing company. It was, the whole concerts were held in the, in the barrel room of the, uh, the winery. Um, a very receptive audience. It was, it was absolutely terrific. And while we're up in Adelaide, we also did some concerts with the Adelaide Chamber Singers. And one of those was in um, St. Peter's Cathedral in Adelaide. And here's just a little clip of us um, rehearsing with them uh, one of the, um, the wonderful Bach motets, uh, Com Jesu Com. So what did I think of the uh, C300 Mercedes? Well, I like the look of it. I think the, uh, the cabriolet and the coupe versions of the body work really well. I think the four-door version doesn't look so great. In fact, I don't like it at all. Um, it looks a bit kind of saggy. I don't know, it's the curve, it goes, the curve goes down across like the body shape and I don't particularly like that look. Um, but I think the cabriolet version works really well. Um, I think the coupe version looks really, works really well. Um, the interior is lovely, I mean the quality is fantastic, typical Mercedes quality. Um, I don't particularly like the iPad style information screen. Um, that tends to reflect the light, whichever direction the sun is coming from, it tends to glare on the, on the screen, which isn't so great. Um, so I'm, not, I'm a, not a huge fan of that design. Um, I prefer the kind of enclosed screen on the uh, 204 version. Disappointing that Mercedes are moving away from the um, the badging that actually relates to the uh, the engine capacity. It always used to be the case that if it was a C300, it would be a three liter, or um, uh, C500 will be a five five liter. Now um, they're moving away from that. Uh, obviously, they're having to use smaller engines, turbocharging. So this was a C300, but it actually only had a I think it's a two just over two liter four cylinder engine, which you know, it had plenty of power and torque, but, but not particularly... Uh, doesn't make a particularly nice sound. Um, and uh, so I, 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 that, I mean, I'd have preferred it to have been a six cylinder um, as a minimum. Um, but, you know, uh, the, the ride quality was great. The handling was great. Um, very good quality car. Um, so yeah, really enjoyed it. Thanks again for watching. Uh, don't forget to uh, give the like a click. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. Um, you can follow me on Instagram at MaseratiGuy2017 um, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.